Hi, Ed. That was lovely. Hello. Very lovely. <laughs> oh, goodness. Goodness, yeah. I'm coughing. So, hey, I'm, I'm Brett, and this is Ed. Hi there. Hello, hello. From moreguitars.com, and we've got two, we have, I'm going to use good grammar today in an effort to uh, grow up a little bit. <coughs> we have with us today two <coughs> Taylor guitars that are choking me up. <coughs> anyway, 614 series guitars. And uh, what Ed has is the, I want to, I don't want, I hate even call it a standard because it's so cool. But yeah. This 614 is... CE. Mm -hmm. And I have the Builder's Edition 614 CE. We're going to talk about the specs for each one and the differences between each one. So let's rock and roll. Why don't you go through yours since yours is the standard run? The 614 CE is a <sighs> guitar that features a Solid Sitka spruce top that is roasted or ter uh, torrified. Terrified. Uh, it's terrified. <laughs> it's terrified. <laughs> it's terrified. And uh, torrification, uh, if that's the word, it has to be. I just said it, right? So um, they're prematurely aging the tops th with heat and pressure. And what the, it's the, the process is mimicking an aged piece of wood by crystallizing the resins and uh, you know, accelerating the aging process. So that's a feature of the 600 series guitar, a torrified Sitka spruce top. It also features a big leaf maple uh, back and sides and a mahogany neck. And this guitar uh, was recently redone, I think in 2012 is when they redid this guitar, so to speak. Um, for a maple <laughs> box guitar, it has a very, very uh, uh, pleasing sound. It's not as bright as, as other maple maples, guitars. Yeah. yeah um, uh, it has a comparatively a, almost scooped mid-range uh, uh, tone to it also. The playability, of course, is great. I mean, this is a great guitar. It's wonderful. Yeah, so like the, the thing that I like about the, the maple for in, in Taylor's world, it's not for all guitars, but like... I like that, the open string. You know, I love that one on this on this particular on these particular guitars. So I like tuning that open, so I can strum all of them, and I don't have to be so precise. <laughs> Another thing with the 600 series guitars is that uh, Taylor, uh, you know, according to Taylor, this is one of the most responsive to fingerstyle playing, also because of sensitivity. <laughs> hard finger style playing but <laughs> there it is <laughs> but that's it, it, it that's the beauty of it is it, it does whatever you want it to do you know yeah. i can i can they, there's really no ceiling to it and i attribute a lot of that to the v class bracing yeah. you know it's like that's the that's a obviously it's all that it is all that it's a patented bracing system that uh, Andy Powers of Taylor has come up with, and it's really taking over the, the entire line of guitars. Uh, from <coughs> They're the, working uh, toward it. Yeah, yeah, from a 300 series on up. Um, both of these guitars feature that innovation in interior bracing, and uh, we're all the better for it because it definitely makes us sound better. Yeah, it does. It, and the general consensus is that it sounds better. Some people still like the old bracing, oh, yeah. and that's okay. Crest, Colgate, man, Hi. everybody's got their flavor, <laughs> man. So, uh, so with the Builder's Edition, it is uh, some of the obvious differences are the armrest, the beveled edge, and the double cutaway. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 a cutaway, you know, their Venetian cutaway, but it's also got this beveled cut here, and it's also cut here. So there's a ridiculous amount of access to these higher frets, you know. You don't, on that particular guitar, keeping your hand more like this. Mm -hmm. Here, I can, not that I ever play that high, but for someone that does, I should have let you have this one because you were the one doing solos. But, um, but it's, I mean, it's unbelievably comfortable to play up here. Get it. So, 
yeah, yeah. get it with my fingers. <laughs> Should have grabbed a pick. But anyway, so that, it, it, and it's all about players' comfort, uh, the builder's edition, and obviously the, the, the added things like the gold go toes yeah. are a nice touch. <clears throat> um, you know, the black, uh, the ebony binding all the way around mm -hmm. the thing. It's just a gorgeous guitar. A beautiful burst. Yeah, so this, what do they call it, Wild Honey Burst yeah. or something like that? And it's, it's wild. beautiful. It is wild. And the silent satin finish. Si yes. It's not just satin. It's silent. So you don't have anything encumbering your playing. Yeah. So, is that a word? Yeah. You just said it. It is now. <laughs> Very cool. So, the other, obviously, they have the ES2 system in them. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm kind of choked up. Black graphite nut, which is different on the V class from the older ones. That's a good telltale if it's V class or not. If it's got yeah. a black nut, it's the black graphite nut. And uh, I always want to call this Jakarta, but it's Makarta. Ah. Saddle, right? Right. Jakarta so, is an Indonesian island. Yes, it is, and that's not we correct. You should go there. <laughs> to all of our should. friends in Jakarta, we just want to say hello from Southern Indiana. So Ed, why don't we play mm -hmm. a little bit? Why don't you, um, you do the, I'll do a little bit of finger style. Okay. And you, then you can, you can, uh, you we'll want to doodle uh, a top of it? Sure. So I'm going to do a song that I hope they'll appreciate. Yeah. It's a Screaming Cheetah Willie song from 25 years ago, and I don't oh, think yeah. we'll get in trouble for it. Oh, okay. Mike Ferris is a pretty cool dude, so let's, uh, let's right. let it rock. <laughs> I was trying to get you there. So, a little finger style on this one. Do a little bit of some, like something simple finger style on that one, maybe in the lower, the upper oh, end okay. of the neck. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so bumble. <laughs> it's okay. So trade me guitars, so okay. everybody can say we use the same microphone, mm. same picking style, everything, and let's see what, if they okay. sound different. I'm immediately adapting to the player-centric features. <laughs> Feels good. Yeah. <clears throat> but I noticed, like before you started adjusting, it was. There's more projection. Do you feel like yeah, it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. And I don't know why that would be. There's not a whole lot going on sonically different. Oh, well, Larry, can you tell her difference? Could like the. Could be I'm just feeling more comfortable in my lack of ability. Now I'm fully, fully, fully warmed up. Warmed and up and, 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 and. It's a lot more similar now, but I, I do notice a little bit of a difference. On this one? Yeah. Yep. So cool. So For I those guess of you this who don't know, we're actually does. speaking, we should say who we're talking to. All right. Larry Peter, our videographer, <coughs> is an excellent guitar player golden ears and uh, you know once in a while he steps out from behind the lens so as he should do more absolutely often. but anyway so I think we've went over the the key aspects of the differences in these guitars we've said enough about each one um, obviously it's a maple neck mm -hmm. at ebony fretboard we need to make sure on both of them yeah correct? West African West African ebony so and it's I mean, we've gone over everything. I know. There's I guess no reason to 
Time for lunch. Delay the point. <laughs> so, whatever that word means. <laughs> so thanks a lot for stopping by. I hope you got something out of this. I hope this helps you make a decision to where the price difference of the builder's edition is for you. Um, it is a great deal more comfortable to play because of the armrest and the satin silent, silent satin finish is a big deal. Um, you know, you kind of got this thing. It's nice and smooth, you know, and, a, and especially on a on a this isn't a gigantic guitar, but it's a, it's a big enough guitar where it could be cumbersome for some if you don't have that armrest. So hopefully you can justify the price difference. Um, both guitars are amazing. They're essentially the same guitar sonically. We kind of proved that, but this one has a little bit quicker attack. And that may not be perfectly the same for every one of these because mm -hmm. woods are all different, but they try to get them to sound as close to the same as they can. Anyway, moreguitars.com. Please call us, chat with us. You can call um, Rob, Ed, myself, anybody here that, that, that knows guitars can help you. Um, chat with us it's a really simple chat feature on our website you can email us or you can drop some comments and questions in the youtube video here and we would love for you to subscribe uh, we put a lot of effort into these to give you some value to help you find the guitar or amp or pedal that you need mm -hmm. and uh, we'd love for you to subscribe and get more info from us so anywho from you know, i am ed <laughs> i'm brett and we are at moreguitars.com thanks a lot thank you